Hikers and welcome to another episode of WLKR News. Over the past few weeks we've had some exciting events happen here at RCHS. Homecoming was a great success with numerous participants. We started the week off with Marvel Monday and had many superheroes make an appearance. On Toon Tuesday our favorite cartoon characters showed up. Western Wednesday drew a corral of many cowboys and cowgirls. Throwback Thursday took us back in time to our favorite decades and Fanatic Friday brought out the best in every Laker. We ended homecoming with an outstanding pep rally where several games took place. Miss Brenna Posey was crowned our 2015 football homecoming queen. Congrats to the homecoming queen and her court. If you're walking the halls of Russell County High, you may have noticed new faces and teachers changing positions. Here's reporter Kana Smith with Miss Laura Davidson, our new guidance counselor. Hey Lakers, I'm here with Miss Davidson, our new guidance counselor. So Miss Davidson, how long were you a teacher? Well, for the last 12 years, I'm starting my 13th, but for the last 12 years, I was a high school English teacher. Okay. So, how did you get hired for the guidance counselor position? Well, when Miss Co um, decided to retire, it was something that I thought about and prayed about a lot, whether to even apply, because I absolutely love teaching. I am passionate about it. I wasn't really ready or wanting to get out of the classroom at all. It wasn't that I was tired of you lovely students. I really had a hard time even putting my application in. So I did decide to apply and I was interviewed and the interview committee called me and offered me the position which was kind of scary, shocking, um, intimidating all at the same time. So you had pretty conflicted emotions after that? Definitely. It was leave something that I know I love and not that I think I'm the best teacher in the world, but I, I enjoyed it and thought I was, you know, pretty decent at sharing literature with students and really was passionate about it to something that I felt very unsure. Not if I would like it because I still wanted to work with students, but if I would be any good at this position. So what are some of the different things you get to do as a counselor? Well, as a counselor, I deal with more one-on-one -on -one with students, whereas in a classroom I might see 30 students at a time. This may be one or two, and so sometimes I'm dealing with social and personal issues. I want students to always feel free to come talk to me about those sorts of things. Sometimes it's academic scholarships or um, working with Miss Rickson on some college visits, helping her to chaperone those things, sending transcripts for students, helping kind of liaison with the college when it comes to um, coming here to visit or dual credit classes, printing transcripts for those. Also working with dropout prevention, trying to keep kids here at school and come up with creative ways of helping them. And then also scheduling, which is going to be a huge part of all the, the front office job is to set the schedule for next year. So we're already kind of starting to plan and think about what next year will look like, which is scary because it's just September. So. so being that we're only a few months in, are you starting to miss the classroom? I miss it so much. Uh, Miss Stapp was out one day for seventh period and she asked me to watch her class and it was awesome. I loved, I just fell right back in and I don't know if the students enjoyed it, but I really enjoyed it. And I miss probably most of all my AP Lit classes. That was just the most tremendous experience. So I sometimes stalk Miss Tartar's class and just walk by or pop in randomly because it's, sorry, I apologize. <laughs> but I, I really miss teaching students in that sense that we're wanting that extra deeper level of, of knowledge. Well I'm sure Miss Tartar welcomes you. <laughs> so one final question, do you have any ad advice for the students at RCHS? My advice just counseling as a teacher really either way is just to enjoy these four years. As an adult it sounds so cliche but it goes by so fast. I'm looking back at my life and sometimes I think wow I wish I would have cherished that moment just a little bit longer. I would have not worried about the future so much. So enjoy the moment. You don't know how long it'll last. None of us know. So I would say enjoy it, try your best, and come see me if you need me. Well Lakers, there you have it. We also have a new English teacher here at RCHS. Once again, here's Kana Smith with Miss Megan Burton. Hey Lakers, I'm here with Miss Burton, our new teacher here at RCHS. So Miss Burton, when were you hired here? I was hired this past summer, so this is my first year at Russell County. Okay, so Ms. Burton, what subjects do you teach? I teach sophomore and junior English right now. Have you always been a Laker, Ms. Burton? I'm actually from Columbia originally, so this is my first year as a Laker. <laughs> well, 
Are you adapting to like her life? Oh yes, I love, love being here. <laughs> okay. One final question. Do you have any advice for the students here at ERCHS? Uh, turn in your work, do well in your classes, and show some school spirit. Well, there you have it. Thank you, Ms. Burton, for your time. Recently, ROTC participated in AMI. This is in an inspection of uniforms and general order. Every member passed with 100%. We are very proud of your accomplishments and hope you continue the good work. Our band also performed at the annual Mark Twain exhibition. They also competed in Casey County and received Grand Champion. This past weekend, they traveled to Pulaski County and received Reserved Grand Champs. Congratulations to all the members of the, of the band for their outstanding performances. Now here is Ms. Erin Wolford with some exciting sports news. Hey Lakers, I'm Erin Wolford here with your WLKR Sports Update. Recently our football team competed against Adair County on homecoming night and against Knox Central this past Friday. Sadly, the outcome for both games ended in a loss for our mighty Lakers, who will be off this Friday. In other sports, the volleyball team has been in action against Cumberland, Casey, Monroe, Wayne, Clinton, and Metcalf, and picked up wins against all. Sadly, they fell short Tuesday to Warren East. In golf, both boys and girls golf teams traveled to Burnside to participate in regionals. The girls received third as a team overall. Congratulations on a great season golf team. Our cross country team traveled to Barron County on September 15th and Pulaski on September 22nd. At Barron County, Caitlin Conover, Joe Robertson, and Dante Taylor finished in the top 20. And at Pulaski, Joe Robertson finished 10th out of 114 runners for varsity boys. Congratulations to them and all our Laker athletes. Until next time, I'm Erin Wolford signing off. Adjusting to high school your freshman year is a big deal, and it's even more of an adjustment since there's no freshman dog. So here with Kana Smith is Peyton Back discussing how life as a freshman is going. Hey Lakers, I'm here with freshman Peyton Back. So Peyton, how are you liking your first year of um, high school so far? Uh, I like it pretty good. It's definitely a change from middle school, but I'm enjoying it so far. So do you like high school better than middle school? Yeah, a lot better so far. So are you involved in any extracurricular activities? Yeah, I play uh, baseball and basketball, so that'll be fun. Sounds good. So uh, how do you feel about having classes with upperclassmen? Uh, it's definitely a change, but it, it's uh, kind of irrelevant. I don't, I don't really pay any attention to it. So uh, do you have anything you're brave enough to say to them on camera? Uh, shout out to my boy T. Shaw. Keep it real. Thank you. You may have seen her in her gold and blue jacket or studying in her classes. This week's senior profile is about a smart and friendly girl who always has a smile on her face, Miss Abigail Wilson. Hey Lakers, I'm here with Abby Wilson, our senior profile. So Abby, have you enjoyed your senior year so far? Yeah, so far it's been pretty laid back and getting a lot of stuff done. It's pretty fun. How do you feel about all the change that's been going on at RCHS? I really do not like the seven period schedule or anything, but I guess you got to go through a rough patch to get it better, so. Hey Lakers, I'm here with three of Abby's greatest friends, Alexis, Megan, and Kenzie. So guys, what's one of your favorite memories of Abby, like here in RCHS? Well, it really wasn't at the school, but Freshman year, we went on a youth trip to Cincinnati, and Abby does not do very well when she's tired. And we're sitting there, and somebody spills their Coke, and Abby screams at them. And then we walk down the stairs, and Abby screams at them. And then we go to the tennis courts, and Abby screams at them. <laughs> and the entire time, she was as hateful as all get out. And I guess that's just one thing you'll always have to know about Abby, is that she does not do good without sleep. So... Abby, I heard you're president of the FFA. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, so with the FFA, we just do leadership activities, and we go out and help the community and do different things like that. So being president kind of gives me more opportunities to do, get in some of my ideas and listen to others. So we try different things, and it gives me a chance to try on all the hats and just get some real good experience. That sounds fun. So... What's something that nobody knows about Abby? Okay, guys. Well, this one time we was at my grandma's house, and me and Meg Bell here, we was trying to sleep. Well, the TV was went black, and we was trying to get the remote out from underneath her. Well, <laughs> she's over here snoring loud as a bear, I swear, you guys. But 
in the end, we finally got the remote from her. Don't know how. I really don't remember. So that's something. I don't think anybody knows. She snores really loud. Like, really loud, guys. Really loud. So what are your plans after high school? Oh, goodness. Well, right now, the plan is either a physical therapist or a physical therapist assistant. So whichever one I choose would be the school that I go to. So WKU or Somerset Community College. <laughs> okay, so um, do you have a favorite memory here at RCHF? There's so many memories to go through. Um, it would just be the ones that have all of my friends in them, like Megan. Cause she, whenever she's around, you know it's going to be crazy. Well, um, what would Ivy's spirit animal be? Abby's spirit animal would definitely be a sloth. <laughs> we have lots of memories <laughs> with sloths. She's very slow-witted like a sloth, too. Okay, and one final question. Do you have any advice for the underclassmen? Underclassmen, it's a good thing to be... This is going to sound really cliche, but just get involved. Find something that you really enjoy to do and just go for it. It it really pays off in the end. Like when I started FFA, I did not expect to be president because I didn't even want to do any of it. <laughs> but senior year and here I am and it's really going to help out on college applications and just improve, improving your high school career. Well there you have it Lakers. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And that's a wrap for this episode Lakers. Join us back next time. Hey Lakers, I'm here with uh, Abby Wilson, our senior profile. That was bad. <laughs> that was oh bad. my lord. So I heard you're uh, president of the FFA. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, what do you want to know? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so Abby, I heard you're president of the FFA. Can you? Are you? Are you? So Abby, I heard you're. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she, so she made a face. Over the past few weeks, we've had some exi exciting events, see, I told you. We started the week off with Marvel Monday and had many superheroes make an appearance on Tuned. <laughs> this is an inspection of uniforms and general order. Okay, you're going way yeah. too fast. <laughs> Recently, ROTC participated in AMI. This is an, an, an oh my gosh. <sighs> that was me. My bad, Kana.